Welcome back. The cost of rent in the time of COVID, things are changing. 680 News' Richard Southern joins us now. Good morning, Richard. And I'm, I'm surprised with how the numbers are going here. It's really dramatic. I mean, it's like, because you talk about rentals or, or, or mortgages, and it's only been going in one direction, right? I mean, it's yeah. only been going up. But now, well, so we're seeing, we're seeing prices fall dramatically. There's a new report out this morning from uh, a, a rentals.ca, and it finds the, the average price of a rental apartment is down 22% right in the downtown core. It'll run you about 2,400 bucks per month. That's kind of in the financial district. Okay. Overall, overall in Toronto though, um, we're looking at an average price of just about 2,000, 2,060 bucks. And that's down 9.3% over last year. That's pretty dramatic, isn't it? And I'm just wondering too, the business district seeing the biggest drop, is that just because people are just heading out of town? They can work from home anywhere? If you can work from home, why pay top dollar to live downtown next to your office? That's kind of the reason this report gives for that. Yeah. So absolutely, if we can work from anywhere, let's get a cheaper place outside of the city. That's kind of what we're already seeing happening. Interestingly enough, the price for a two-bedroom condo is up over last year. So maybe people who are staying in the city, they're looking for that extra room, maybe as an office. Yes, definitely. You need some breathing room these days if you're working from home all the time. Yeah. Disney, they are really kind of taking the charge lately um, when it comes to uh, s social progress. And, and they're doing it again in a new way. Yeah, this is really cool. So uh, Disney over the weekend confirmed that it will uh, f uh, a, a new show of its will feature its first bisexual lead character. And this is, you know, it's really groundbreaking. It's the show is going to be called The Owl House. It's going to be on the Disney Channel. There's the character on the left there, 14-year-old okay. Luz. And she's uh, a Dominican-American girl who uh, stumbles into an alternative world when she uh, battles witches and demons. That's kind of the, uh, the, the, the arc of the show. But she's uh, showing that she's attracted to both male and female characters in the show. Okay. It's not it, Disney's first um, a character that's openly LGBTQ. This is the first leading character, though. Up until now, oh, okay. they've, already been, they've already been bit characters, so this is quite groundbreaking. And, of course, Disney's done well over the past couple of months. The earnings have held in okay, even with the parks and clothes and the movies not coming out. Is it the Disney Plus? Thing? Is that what's helping them out? Uh, this is the Dis. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we, we've seen the uh, the subscribers for that Disney Plus just go through the roof, and you know, people sign up to watch that Hamilton movie. And um, who knows? Maybe they got another hit here with this groundbreaking show. Have you been eating more takeout lately? <laughs> lately, like uh, you know me, <laughs> as, as always. But you know what? I, I actually have. Um, have you? Have you been on the Uber Eats a bit, a uh, bit too much? What do you think? You know, I do the ritual thing more often because at least that gets me out of the house a little. I could order on my phone and then go pick it up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Um, but certainly, people have been ordering food, and you know what? Kind of at the. Uh, the 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 top of that has been pizza. Like pizza chains have seen business just skyrocket during the past five months. And what has this led to? I don't want to warn, uh, alarm you, but we have a price of pepperoni oh, that boy. is absolutely. <laughs> Calm yourself, because I know it's never too early to talk about pizza. Pepperoni <laughs> prices, though, they're through the roof, Melissa. They're up 50 percent over the past that? five months. Just pizza demand. Pizza demand is a big a part of it, and then the pork producers, they, they're short on staff, so they're producing less pepperoni just as the demand is higher. So hold on to your pizza slices. They might cost you a bit more. No problem. I'm more of a, a, a pineapple than a pepperoni gal anyway. Don't get us going on that debate again. <laughs> See, to me, the only essential topping to me is onions. I can mix and match everything else, but i got to have onions on my pizza. That's Sounds me, good. though. And why not some pizza for breakfast today? Sign me up. Sounds good to me. I'll go see what I got in the fridge. <laughs> so nice talking to you this morning, and uh, you'll be back again this week. Sure will, filling uh, Apple's big shoes. Awesome. Thanks so much for that, Richard. Devo, how are things morning. going with you?